Hello. Noxy, thank you so much for the 11 months. Yo, yo, yo. Uh-huh. One more month away with being a year being here. Anyway, on with the joke. How do you tell the difference between a nerd and someone in a BDSM? You ask them their definition of a dungeon master. Louise Sip. I d um, um, sometimes I have no words, you know? <laughs> sometimes the words, they just don't happen. Thank you so much, Noxy, for the 11 months of support. Thank you for almost one whole year and a beautiful joke at that. Thank you so, 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 so much. How are you doing? Um, hello. How is everyone? Drusifer, Noxy, Doog, Memo, Lakiki, Mini Scream, Solo, Crimson, Megan, um, 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 uh, 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 Rowletto, uh, Kyra, uh, nope, uh, hello, how's it going? Hi, Miss Demon, um, um, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hello, hi, Penguin. Um, I'm the height of stress right now. I'm in need of those immaculate vibes. Welcome. We are vibe city, baby. Uh, cause I'm also stressed. So it's just been a really stressful day. It's not been a fun one. So I need some chill. I need some good times with chat. I need like, I need this chat. This, this is what I need. Uh, cause I've been a little sad baby today. Um, hi Sarah. Hi Lanfa. How are you doing? Hey, hi. Uh, hi, Ape, how's it going? Uh, hi, Colin, how are you? It's lovely to see you. Um, did you manage to get a nap in? I had, I got like 10 minutes of a nap in, which kind of, like I wanted more. I think I had like 10, 15 minutes. I, I set my alarm for like half an hour. That didn't happen, but that's okay. Um, it's going well. Yay. I'm happy to hear it. Hi, Paul. How's it going? Sad vibes? No, 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 not in this stream. Well, we do occasionally have sad vibes. Not today. Good vibes today. Um, I'm doing remarkably shitty. I'll survive. Yes, you will. And it'll, you will have a better day. I'm sad that lots of us seem to have had a rough day. Maybe there's something in the air. Maybe it's just everyone's having a... Well, not everyone. Maybe just some of us are having a rough time today. Because me too. I had to do adult things that were scary. Oh, and then talk to banks and stuff. And oh, it was just very stressful. And I wasn't having a good time. I was very sad. And I was very sleep deprived as well. That didn't help. <laughs> um... So we're gonna chill out together, okay? We better. We need to calm. Cute vest, thank you, Chad. You know what? I wanted to look like a lawyer. To, well, not like a lawyer. I don't think uh, many lawyers would wear this sort of outfit, but this is smart, kind of, maybe. So, you know, I'm gonna rock with it. Kind of smart. Kind of lawyery, maybe. Um, Librarian look. I'll take librarian, sure. Wait, where are my glasses? I can, I can encourage this look. Uh, how do I lose glasses? That's one pair. Where's the other pair? Yeah, behind the controller. Hi, Wallen. Isabel. Oh, like from um, Animal Crossing. Mom, look. I'm a mom. Oh god, these glasses hurt my eyes so much. Hello, I'm a librarian. Would you like a book? <laughs> They're really uneven. Wait, there we go. Is that a bit better? I can't see in these though. They are not the right prescription and they hurt my eyes a lot. Hi, Recluse. These ones are better. You can see, wait, you can see me in OBS. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> isn't it incredible? You're seeing behind the scenes through my glasses. <laughs> Hi, Crap, how's it going? One book, please. Here is book. You have it. There you go. Um, a librarian, mother, and Animal Crossing. Yes, that's me. Um, that 
Alex Plenty Lawyery. Thank you. I lawyer. I know laws. Um. It's, I had a really nice day and the sun is shining, so I'm in a very good mood. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you're having such a good one. Uh, I'm doing well, Hannah and chat. I started a new job. <gasps> Yo, congratulations. I'm so glad it's been going well. Um, that's awesome. Congrats. When I was blonde, no, I didn't own this outfit when I was blonde. Um, I bought this, I think over Christmas? Nah, I wasn't blonde when I had this, unfortunately. Um, hi Dante, how's it going? Hi Fabi. Um, my family wants me to become a lawyer. Same! I was torn between going to law school or I was about to say politician school. It's just a politics degree. Um, yeah, and I did politics, so, but I almost did law. I did some, I did some modules in law and like the uh, crime, but yeah. Whatever you did on your Twitter pics, A, you have the smallest pupils ever and B, you have so much sparkle in your eye. It was cause I was staring directly at the sun. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think it's also my eyes look really different in different colors. Um, I don't know what eye color it looks like I have now, but my mom says my eyes are green. I would say my eyes are gray. Other people would say my eyes are blue. They also have some yellow in them. I don't know. Blue. Right now they look gray. Well, <laughs> well. Steel blue with specks of gold. Ooh, they look blue. Hold on. Let's get close and personal. A dark green. See, now they look really blue, I think. But they kind of have some gold. I don't know. Sure. I'd say blue with shades of gray, like the book. No, no, thank you. Ice cold eyes of a killer. <laughs> oh my God, no, brown eyes are so beautiful. I love brown eyes. And I shade of blue gray. Uh, my eyes are similar, blue, green, and gray, depending on, yeah, that's what mine are like, for sure. Your eyes are gems with many facets. Ew. You should be a writer, my friend. My goodness. Um, I did law and a legal masters and now I am precisely no good to anyone. <laughs> Shush yourself, you're incredible. Uh, my brother and sister did international politics and human rights. My sister is in Istanbul for Doctors Without Borders. Right? Whoa, that's awesome. Yo. Yeah, I just, well, my law, not law degree, my politics degree came in really handy because now I just stream. So. I've done nothing with it, but hey, it's cool. I know some things. Uh, hi, Bonfra, how are you? Um, I have lighter blue eyes so they can reflect what color is around me. They can look super, uh, super blue, gray or purple. <gasps> Yo, purple eyes, Yennefer, hello. Um, roses are red, Hannah's eyes are kind of blue. One chatter said they were gray, perhaps you did too. Ooh, ooh, we got a poet. Uh, mine are mostly brown, but they apparently changed their mind last minute because there's a little slice of olive green in each of them. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Hi, Money Mew, how are you? Your eyes are blue. What eye color do you think I have? I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but out of curiosity. Um, oh, enjoy the sunshine. Do you like poetry? Honestly, uh, not often. <laughs> I like, uh, as a, uh, in my English studies, we had to do poetry 
and I just despised it. I was just like, this is really boring. I don't get it. I don't get why people like poetry. Um, oh, Christ. Well, friends, the summer holidays do truly be uh, the best time to stream. Anyway, um, now we just click ban a whole bunch. Um, but what was I saying? No, poetry was so, I did not like poetry, but I kind of came to like it, like certain poetry. Poetry is cool to court the people you fancy. Oh, really? For the one, for the one, for the three. I like your pussy and I like your tree. It'll be one person who is botting. There's been a whole bunch of hate shit recently on Twitch and it's miserable. Conversation and Hennessy. I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Heard motherfuckers talk, seen them drop. If I ain't got a weapon, I'll pick up a rock. Thank you! Thank you so much. Poetry. That kind of poetry. Yeah. How dare they make me stop farming Sakura blossoms? God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Trucifer, for the 420 biddies. I appreciate it very, 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 very much. Hi, Lizzie, Hannah, and Chef. Um, and thank you so heckin' much, um, Nuseva, for the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Thank you, welcome back. How are you doing? And how are you doing, Hulk, as well? Um, no, I think poetry can be good. It's just like the, I was never a fan of like the rhyming and the, the, I don't know. There was something about it that I wasn't um, the biggest fan of. It's a fun day today, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, anyway. What is going on with chat? Basically, that have been like a ton on Twitch recently. Distract yourselves with Garrus, please. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty sure he would eliminate the problem. Gabba would. Geba has no time for racists, and nor do we. Um, thank you so freaking much, Sarah, for the 666 biddies. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, basically on Twitch, maybe it's because school is out for summer and there's children at home. I don't know. But uh, there's just been a load of like hate raids and hate botting and that sort of shit recently. I think this is the third time it's happened, like this week. No, in the, like the last week here. So it's it's a time. Um, it's more just annoying, I guess. But why it is necessary for people to do, I don't bloody know. Anyway. I go to school is the new get off my lawn. <laughs> Learn to do something cool with botting. I don't know. Like if you can code and shit, just do something interesting with it, no? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm closing Genshin to open mod view. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Zhongli misses you. I know he does. He wishes you could come back any minute. Um, I'm good, thank you. I'm all right, thank you. I'm, I'm doing okay. <gasps> thank you for the hype train.
I don't need my actual skill involved in these things. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you very, very, very much, um, Iconic, for the 27 months resub. Welcome back. How are you doing today? I hope you're very, very well. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there is an ostentatiousness, ostentatiousness to some poetry and poetry environments. I can order 100 pizzas to their home. <laughs> They don't serve pizza. What do you mean? Thank you so much for the 100 biddies, Sola. Hi, MK. How's it going? Um, thank you for the biddies. Um, to some poetry and poetry environments that exercise the heart in which poetry is meant to convey. I can't talk though because I think rap is the best poetry. Um, I think like there's some poetry I really like, like a uh, spoken word poetry I used to be super into, uh, like watching videos on YouTube. I also like poetry, which is like discussing like a topic and just very eloquent words. Does that make sense? Thank you. Build a path to be together. Do you remember Dong Awareness Bot? <laughs> oh my god, blast from the past. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. What the heck a doodle do? Iconic, thank you for the secret tunnel biddies. In depth descriptions, that's the exact thing I love. I love that. What else do I love? Dancing. Come on, friends, join with me as we groove. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeehaw! Thank you so much, Hopper, for the ten pound tip. That's way too kind. Thank you so very much, you sweet sleepy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I miss that. Oh, I miss that one. That one hits different. Thank you so much, Fabi, for the 666 biddies. Thank you so much, MK, for the 690 biddies. Thank you both for the Garrus hype. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't with you, Har Garrus. I love him so much. I, I, I'm in love with him. Also, hi, Sadie. How are you? It's lovely to see you. Um, yeah, definitely. Hi, Wild Wolf. How are you? Also, hi, Sincerely Sarcastic. Um, been a while since I've watched, but I was just a lurker before, but hi now. Hello. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Hi, Skulls. Um, I had quite a productive day. I was doing cleanups on my land. It, uh, alone, it takes quite a long time. <gasps> I'm so proud of you for being so productive, though. Hi, Susan. How's it going? They actually came to chat one day. Um, on my birthday, Dong Awareness Bot like, actually said happy birthday and stuff. I think it was my birthday. It was either birthday or Merry Christmas, they said. Um, but then I think... I think that was... And then I don't think he really showed up after that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, Group Dita. MK, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Sadie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcoming Sadie back for that eighth month here. That is very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Is it your birthday? It is not my birthday. It is, in fact, just a regular Tuesday. Um... 
Um, uh, he might not be here, but the dongs will never be forgotten. <laughs> uh, I already have all the level one emotes. Oh no. I've been trying to draw Gojo, but he absolutely refuses to come out right. I am offended. How dare he? Truly, how dare he? Do you want to know? I keep learning facts about Gojo and it makes me both really angry and also like I want to smooch him, but also I'm like, oh, you're so annoying, Gojo. <laughs> um like did you know whenever he's wearing his glasses that means that he's probably had a date that day i don't know why that annoys me but it just annoys me and i want to want to smoke a room god damn it anyway hi bows no you you're a goober the shades on your hair look amazing sorry i thought you should know that oh thank you that's very very sweet thank you so much have I got something in my hair? It seems like it, but uh, thank you. I I do appreciate that very much. Uh, he yeah no he makes me real sad. Yo I oh, yeah yeah I agree. Same. Have you become full? I hate that. I love him. I think so. Kind of same for Edgeworth. It's like the you really annoy me, but I kind of want to smooch you vibe. And it's like, why, I don't get how that works. How do those two thoughts coincide? I don't know. You know who would never make you sad, Nanami? I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I think in fact, Nanami did make me sad. Um, he wouldn't make me sad on purpose though. Whereas I feel like, Go well, actually, would Gojo do it on purpose? No, he would probably just think he it was fine, and then he'd do it, and he'd be like, "Why the? Why would that be okay?" Um, ah, dear me, I like the music so much. <gasps> Beautiful Squeenix songs. We love it. Um. An ascot. Wait, it, w it was an ascot. Is that the thing he wears around his neck? Thank you! Yeah, I would call that a cravat. Is that what- are they the same thing? Thank you so much, Johnny, for the prime sub. That is very, very, very sweet of you. Welcome on in. Enjoy all of the emotes. Um... And your brand new sub badge. Thank you so much for using your prime here. Thank you, thank you. That's so kind. Hi, Eiffel. How are you? Um, Yo, I ship them too. I'm a supporter of that ship, Cryptida. Um, in all its KFC goodness. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I say that. Um, it's great. Um, for Nick Fuka, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> oh no. Um, how's Skate coming along? I haven't watched any more. Um, I'm really enjoying it though. I'm like highly concerned about Adam because I'm just like, I get real Hisuka vibes, and that I really dislike, but then. He like says real like he'll say something really sassy and cool and I'm like, oh, and then and then he'll he'll just say something really weird to like a, a teenager and I'm like Yeah 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 Not the KFC breakup. I'm so glad you understood. <laughs> Not the KFC breakup. <laughs> One piece. Never. I refuse. Never. Just out of pride, I refuse to watch One Piece. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I will just probably never ever watch One Piece. I have too much to get through anyway. Um, hi Frida, how's it going? It sounds so wrong. Aubergine. Nah, aubergine. I don't know. I, I'm English. It's just aubergine to me. I started watching Skate because I saw your tweet and all I can say is that everyone's so... Isn't it incredible? How far are you? I uh, am so glad I 
I convinced you to watch it. But, um... Hi, Orange! After 990 chapters, I dropped it. Was there a reason? Out of curiosity. Howdy, Goobers. Howdy. I returned from cowboy country and ready for the legal drams and my sweet boy Edgeworth. Also Hannah digging the vest vibes three. Thank you. I decided to try my like lawyer self out. Uh, This is my lawyer look apparently. Um, Thank you so. Ah, sorry. Uh, thank you so, 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 so much for the 666 biddies. I appreciate it, Orange. Welcome back. How was the wedding? How was being a cowboy? How was it? Tell us all about it. Lloyd glasses. Well, I have two. I don't know which one we go with. He's a lucky kid. This one is like librarian vibes. Hey, I'm lo your lo These glasses don't sit evenly on my head because of my headset. Don't worry about it. Or we have these vibes. I feel like I wouldn't trust myself as a lawyer. Thank you! Am I entitled to comp- Yes, you're always entitled to compensation. That's the secret. Always. Always. Um, hi Tess, how are you doing? Hi Fabi, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you so much, Enron Tomb, for the 13 months of support. I appreciate it very, 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 very much. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How's it going? Um, you got cute high school boys, bickering, married couple, whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know who those people are. Uh, they're the only thing I ship. I ship literally everything. Well, do I? No, I just ship two couples, but... I'm not, I'm only halfway through, I think, so. I will see. I don't know what any of them are called though, apart from Matcha Blossom. Tadashi, I don't think I know who that is yet. Or I don't re remember the name. Do I? I don't know. Uh, is Ace Attorney Land America or America? It's, it's, it's Japan and America. It's a lot of law systems in one, I'm pretty there sure. Are 186 episodes of One Piece anime movies not counted in which are 361.5333 hours of watch time or 15.06 days. Oh, I, I'm surprised that's only how long it is. It feels like a lifetime. Thank you so much for the hundred biddies. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, still not worth it. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> uh, more power to you if you're a One Piece fan. Um, I just really like short animes. <laughs> You know, like a 24 episode season. That's perfect. Like, like as in one season. I don't want season two. Just one season and 24 episodes. Almost a full fetus. <gasps> Almost a whole Twitch baby. Frida, thank you so much for the eight months of support. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, Greedy is. Hi, Dom. Show that wraps. Okay. Shows that wrap in 12 to 13. I fully support. And like, Yuri on Ice is one of my favorites. And that's 12 episodes. But I want more of them. Like, Yuri on Ice. I want more of Yuri on Ice. But it's only 12 episodes. And it doesn't need to be anymore. I get why it's only 12. Well, I mean, I mean, if Mafia could just release the movie already, maybe that would, that would help. Hi, Holy Rose, how are you? I hope you're doing well too. My attention span can only handle 12 episodes. Yeah, I'm just a, I like short, I like short stuff. 12 episodes is cool. 24 episodes is like my perfect. Yo, who let you out the library, nerd? 
Yo, who let you out of the... Out of Sassville, Mr. Meanie Pants? Death Parade Hell, it has angst and it's short. I, I'll watch it. I'll watch it at some point. Um, hi Ivy, how are you? Who doesn't want more Yuri and I? I'm literally reading a Yuri and I's fanfic right now that is so good. Holy moly, the tension has been rising. It is, it's like rivals to lovers. Ooh, and they're getting real angry at each other. So you know what's coming. <laughs> they're gonna kiss. <laughs> uh, finishing animes feels so good. That's something I miss regarding One Piece. Yeah, I love being immersed in a story and then being like, okay, that's the story done. I don't feel like I can do long running stuff that easily. Even with like a, not like a live action TV shows too. Sometimes I feel like shows could be shortened by a few episodes and it would be better idea than dragging it through 20 something. Oh, like cutting out all the filler stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. Assassination Classroom and I am enjoying your shenanigans. Ooh. I think I've heard stuff about that one. I don't think that insult had the grab. Uh, no, it's fine. I. <laughs> Raz knows how I really feel. Uh, I've given up on so many trains because see, by season three, I usually end up hating it. I have had like so many animes recommended to me where it's like, this show is so good. Just like ignore season three and it's good. And I like, or like season one and two are great. And then it kind of falls apart. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, Nozaki-kun is 12 episodes. I think I have that on my list. I think that's on my, my list of animes to watch. I think. Um. Just power through the first again. <laughs> That's how I feel like Hunter Hunter. It's a lot of people like just just get through it, and I'm like, I want episode like seventy. How much? How much? Oh, and you look two decades. Two decades. I switch friendos, but also feels a little short. Love you, Anna. Proud of you always. And just so you know, I nominated you for Rising Star in the game. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? Wait, I... Could you nominate me for things? What? Danny, thank you so much for the 20 months of support. That's really, really sweet of you. Thank you so much. Wait. <laughs> thank you. I don't know how people even go about doing that, but maybe you should tell us because maybe I should know. <laughs> By tell us, I mean tell me. I'm at a loss. Um, My Hero Academia only like season one and two. I have started My Hero Academia, but I know like all of the manga spoilers. Well, not all of them. I know some of them. Uh, and I have like fallen in love with characters from afar. I have no clue what their business is. I have no clue if they're baddies or goodies, but I'm just like, you, I think you look like you're sad. You're mine now. Come here. Uh, they could be evil. They could be really evil. To be fair, that hasn't stopped me in the past. But. I'm watching it it's just slowly. It's like my uh, my background, my background watch. Um, Hunter Hunter is kind of like Persona Five, where it's so long. So if there's a part you don't vibe with, that part might be like twenty episodes and can make it hard to get through. Yeah, I think that's very accurate. Do, 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 do. Cowboy Bebop was initially 12 episodes or so, and the love for the show was huge. Ended up making it 26 in total. Mwah. Uh, I really want to watch Cowboy Bebop. One day. One day. 
Uh, apparently fans of Tokyo Ghoul's manga didn't like the anime, but I like the anime and I dropped the manga when it started going off the rails. I think Rad's told me that Tokyo Ghoul season three is like a bit weird. I picked Rising Star Streamer. Okay. How do you do this? Probably go to uh, the correct, the Rising Star category. Streamer. Nominate. Oh, and then you just like fill it in. Hey, yo, I mean, hey, if you want to support <gasps> Chris. <laughs> no, go nominate yourself, Chris. Uh, if you want to nominate me, that would be very cool and very nice. I've never... I've never, I've never, I've never, you know? I've never, I'm scared, but you can if you want to. Um... Bebop is fun because even the filler episodes are fantastic. If you have a hard time getting through Hunter Hunter, then you would shouldn't even try One Piece. Don't worry, I was never going to. Like One Piece, uh, Naruto, any of those, I will never try. Like ever. I, I'm sure they're great. I I commend the people that love them. Uh, I just I I will never no 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 unless I run out of anime to watch no. So, and surprisingly, with the amount of stuff that I rewatch eight times in a row, I don't think I'm ever going to run out of anime. Oh, that's so cute, Hapa! Um, I mean, Axel kidnappings, uh, kidnaps kids left and right and you just have googly eyes. I don't have any defense. I just, I, I, you know, just like red hair, spiky, spiky red hair anime boys with a lot of confidence and a bit of arrogance. It's just, you know, I can't help it. It's just, uh, it's uh, the word, you know? There's even in Woisekai, there's even a guy with like ginger red spiky hair. And as soon as I saw him, I was like, you, you're my favorite. <laughs> you're the one. <laughs> he's not even the main character. Like he's not main character enough, but I'm like, yeah. And he's kind of grumpy. Or he's a little sassy, I guess. Um, I really want to buy the Kingdom Hearts manga. I just don't seem to have the attention span for anything new anymore. Valid. I get you with that. We talk about anime, Naruto and Pikachu. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Axel just wanted to get his money's worth. <laughs> no, I can't wait for Reno to return in future remake parts and to see Hannah Simp. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't, I mean, yeah, <laughs> and Zach, <laughs> ah, you know, um, anyway, uh, hi Sonokura, uh, hi Mara, do I play Minecraft? No, I don't, I'm afraid. I'm not really into Minecraft. There are two spiky redheads and they're twins. Oh my goodness. And I'm still guessing that they're sassy or like kind of sarcastic or something. Aside from all the traits you just mentioned, it sounds like me. <laughs> um, my heart belongs to me. Does it though? Does your heart belong to you? Another reason I predict you'll be a child that sounds so weird. Genshin. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Chaotic Redheads. Well, I do like Chaotic Redheads. Uh, I still need to play more Genshin. Um, 
I think, I don't know. I think I am a Kaya simp though. I know he's like the first guy that you meet. I just really like him. I just like him. Because I'm not laughing. I feel like chaotic redheads are universally loved. Imagine being chaotic and a redhead. Kaya is and always be the OG. You can sim for multiple boys. True. I tend to always just have like a one specific favorite. Like, yeah, I tend to. Do you still have the outfit with the black corset thing and the white dress shirt? Take that, bold lipstick or glasses, and you'll have the badass Hollywood lawyer boss look. Never a better time now. Well, yes, I have all of these things. Uh, maybe I'll just wear an array of, um, an array of lawyer outfits this week whilst we play Phoenix. I really want to. So join Fan House if you want to see behind the scenes or like the what it looks like so far. But I want to do a Mia cosplay. And I have two parts of the Mia cosplay. Um, I'm just waiting on the wig mostly. But that will happen. blazers and jackets every day. I have a blazer from when I really wanted to do a Nanami cosplay, like a femme Nanami. I have a blazer that I really like that I got for a cosplay for him. Um, yeah. You should definitely give it a trial. I don't remember what I said, Danny. You're probably gonna have to remind me. <laughs> what am I giving a trial? Genshin? Be like me and simp for every single character in Genshin. Valid. Valid. Very, very fair. Um, I'm trying to think of the Genshin characters I know. Um, being a lawyer. Hey! Oh, that's actually good. Okay, no, that was good. <laughs> um, what are the Genshin characters I know? Albedo. Uh, he's like blonde, I think. Um, there's a really cool blonde looking um, girl who has like a thing down her forehead. Well, there we go. I know a lot of the guys. I know Zhongli. I know Child, uh, Ka Kaya, Diluc. Um, Venti? Uh, yeah. Mostly Zhongli. I'll be honest, I know Zhongli very well. You can blame Megan entirely for this. Um, Venti Frappuccino? Yes. Yes. You have to go to court on Thursday? No! No. Um, hi Solheim, how are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know Zhongli a lot. <laughs> I know, say, that's how I know them as well. I get so many Genshin TikToks and it's just like their voice lines and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Mona Klee and Ganyu. Oh, I also know Lisa. Is it Lisa? Uh, and Jean? Uh, Cause I really want to cosplay Lisa so bad at some point, eventually one day. And then I know Jean. It looks very cool. Um, it's just, an, is that, how is that drama in Genshin? Why? Actually, why am I asking that? Of course there's, it's a fandom. Of course there's drama. I just refuse to uh, participate or acknowledge drama in any fandom. 
<laughs> I, do, I do not see it. I just see cool art and I see that's that's it. I just see cool fan art and voice lines and that's it. That's it. I see a streamer looking brady in that color. Thank you. Oh, I just wrote my nails kind of match as well. Yo. What nail, what color nails do I get next? Because my nails are growing really quickly and I'm going to have to repaint them soon. And I don't know which one I want. Trauma and fandoms. What? What? Um, because there is my newest house. Is that the one with the red stripe or no? Hold on. I mean, I can just Google. Zoo them. Yeah, it is. Oh, see, I know these things. Red nails. Ooh. Oh my God, Solheim, I freaking love that video so much. Isn't it such a cool analysis of the game? Like, I, I love that video. That video is what convinced me to play Edith Finch or like how I found the game. Um, You need advice. Okay. As long as it's... <laughs> I say okay with a lot of hesitation, my friend. Uh, I've got an L appointment later this week. <gasps> I feel like a lavender would look very pretty on you. I'm sure what's coming will be totally innocent. I cannot wait, personally. Right hand blue and left hand red. <gasps> I can have like Phoenix and Edgeworth battling it out. Um, I'm too old to participate in fandom at all, to be honest. I simply wander the internet and consume media passively. Fair valid i think i am the same i just like well i don't really know what participate in fandom means like all of my likes on twitter you know what twitter has become a stressful place because i like want to like fan art that i see and then i worry about spoiling stuff for people because i know if you like stuff it can pop up on people's timeline so i'm like So I'm like, I can't like that because what if someone from chat sees it and then it spoils it for them? I can't do it. So I just bookmark so many tweets because I'm like, oh, I want to look at it because it's pretty, but I'm scared to spoil friends. And then I don't know how, to, and then I'm like trying to support the artist, but I'm like, I don't know how to do both of these things. Um. See, I don't think making fan art is like participating in fan. See, to me, fandom is like a very specific area of, I don't know how to describe this. To me, fandom is very different from just like making art. Like I have drawn art of like skate and banana fish and Attack on Titan. I wouldn't say I am in the fandom of any of those things. I just like those things. Um, I think it depends like what you, how you feel about it. You're in a fandom? I wouldn't say so, personally. Um, I think a fandom is a very, at least from my how I've experienced fandom. I would say when I was younger, I was in fandoms. When I was like in Tumblr, on Tumblr, those were like my fandom days because I was like very heavily in them and making friends with people in them. And it was very much like a, a group thing. Whereas now I'm like, ah, that's a cool tweet. Nice. And then I move on. <laughs> Um, attack on dice. <laughs> I ship Hannah and getting enough rest. Thank you. Insertion. I ship that. We are all part of the loop. <laughs> it will never happen. It's all yearning. 
Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like, um... If you're a fan, then you're in a fandom. I disagree. The well, and it's completely fair if that's what you think. Um, don't let me... Say, I'm not saying you're wrong. Um, because then people, if they were like a fan of my content, I don't have a fandom. You know? I think I've just experienced it through Tumblr and that's kind of warped my perception of it. Thank you so much, Sarah, for the 100 biddies. Um, I see a photo of a very nice booty on my timeline and the caption is this ass is out of this world and Twitter recommends it because you've shown interest in the topic space. <laughs> I love to see it. Um, I wrote fan fictions of what I and some of my friends want to see and if someone tries to drag me into drama, my friends will be the one, the only ones to see them. Yeah, oh my goodness. I see like I read fanfic, but that's because Honestly, a lot of the time it's because I enjoy reading a lot, but I don't want to spend time reading a book and not knowing if I'm going to like it. And I don't want to buy a book only to then not end up liking it. Whereas with a fan fiction, I know the characters, I know kind of what's going to happen. And I can just like enjoy reading it. Um, I can't apply to jobs because I don't know how and I'm afraid of people. I would Google, uh, honestly. Literally, um, with the don't know how, you can figure that stuff out. And there's loads of jobs that will be working from home um, because of the times. I need your opinion. What color do you like more? I put it in media channel. Uh, ooh. I like the white one more personally, but if you are going to be wearing it out and about a lot, I would probably actually get black because the white will show dirt a lot more easily. There you go. Uh, I looked up the exact midpoint between Edgeworth and Phoenix suits and it's... Oh, wait. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait. <laughs> Let me Google. Wait. Huh. Color look up. Hmm. Why are you not showing for me? Okay, you may have to just show me this because it won't work for some reason. Uh wisdom. <laughs> I think fandom is loose and uh, nebulous, which is why it's so easy for people to use the term to focus on niche minority groups of people who happen to like a certain thing. Yeah, I think I agree. Hi, Jeff. How's it going? We go by Dick Protection Squad. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I make art right on occasion. Maybe I do participate. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I draw stuff, but I wouldn't say I'm in a fandom. I think the closest thing would be like Squeenix fandom. Because I like a lot of Squeenix stuff. I don't know if it was uh, obvious. I kind of like Squeenix. I think that would be the closest thing I would accept to being like, yeah, I'm a, in the fandom of that. Hi, spooky lot. Hello. How you doing? Just another boring day at work. How's it going with you? I am well. Um, I had a nice little mini nap uh, after not being able to sleep last night. Oh my god, I was so happy. I was like, oh, I'm asleep by two. Incredible. And then I woke up at six and I was like, well. <laughs> and then I was wide awake. Sag. Um... Who are we artists for? I think it's because I do art and stuff for myself. Like, I, I'm cool to share it, but I mostly do it for myself. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Colors and media. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, yo, I did not think it would be such like a beautiful royal color. Oh, damn. 
Hi, Violet. How are you? <laughs> Kevin's sleeping hours. I wish I was sleeping. I haven't written fic in so long and I have an ongoing work that I haven't updated in almost three years that I still get comments on. Oh no, I'm so sorry, friend. I'm sure it is beautiful as it is. Um, never, the thing is, never, ever, ever, ever pressure yourself to like, I don't know if you can turn off notifications on AO3. Because it's one of those things like, I'm sure at some point inspiration will hit for something new or inspiration will hit for something old or whatever. But if you are like stressing about it, it's it's gonna struggle, you know? And I believe in you, okay? I hope you enjoy it if you ever want to get back into writing. Um, Hi Spy Jack, how's it going? Back to the courtroom, hell yeah. Best friend being bros, we love to see it. Naps just make me more tired. Ma, I do, if I have a long nap, if, if my nap is longer than like half an hour, I wake up more tired than I was before. But if you keep a nap like under half an hour, I think that's the sweet spot for sure. Um, right, okay, tell you what friends. Oh, one minute. Creativity is very hard. And it ebbs and flows, my friend. Heck yeah, I'm more ace attorney with one of my favorite streamers. Dot, I love this game series so much, especially the characters and music. Dot, watching the last two streams was a blast, and Yay! I hope you continue to have fun with the game. I am so excited because I know that Edgeworth is in this trial, and I just enjoy him very much. So I am so excited for more. Thank you so much, Wheelers, for the three months. Welcome back. That's a brand new sub badge and continued access to all of the emotes. Thank you so much for the support. Hi, Mr. Potato. Hi, Pink. How are you doing? Um, I was saying so. I'm going to go grab some water after this. Then we're going to play Ace Attorney. <laughs> Sarah. Big booty Edgeworth. Edgeworth, more like thick was. Oh! Any birthday sub whoop. Woo! Thank you so much, me. Wait, I can't tell if you're like birthday sub because it's like three months brand new sub badge or because it's your birthday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, Hannah. Hello. Hi. Hey. Pardon the interruption. No worries. So sorry. Yeah, that's good. How long have there been drawers behind you next? The whole time. What's in them? Many Hi. things. Now yes. that I've seen them, it's all I can think about. Louisa, little Louisa, cheer 100. It's your birthday. Would you like a birthday kazoo? You can say no. You can. I promise you. It's encouraged. Um, thank you so much for the three month resub. Welcome back. Sarah, thank you for the 200 biddies. Uh, there have been drawers here the whole time. Uh, honestly, there's so much stuff in them. Uh, there's like paint stuff, there's some makeup stuff, uh, wires and cables. I think there's some hamster stuff from when I used to have a hamster. Uh, there's paints. I think I already said that. There's a lot of stuff. Junk, basically. Yeah? Okay. It's kazoo time, baby. And then I'm gonna go get some water, okay? No more distractions. Haha! <laughs> Please, everyone, join with me in singing a lovely happy birthday to Shmeev. Um, sing along in chat. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Don't laugh. You've got this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, that was one of the best, I think. <laughs> Maybe, kind of, not really. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shmeev. I hope you have a really, really wonderful day. Enjoy uh, celebrating you, and I hope you get all, all the things you could ever wish for. Um, hi, abs. Come shoes kazoo solo. Oh my god. Okay, right. I'm gonna run and get some water. Two seconds. Enjoy the tunes. Be happy. I return. Right. Are we ready for some more? Ace Attorney. Where we are going to um be ace attorneys, duh. <laughs> right? Heck yeah, hydrate, I can do that. <gasps> I forgot to post to YouTube that I was live. Well, I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, so everyone, what's the weather like where you are? Is it nice? Sunny? Rainy? Not, not, neither? Cloudy? I know there's some thunderstorms happening in some places. I hope you're staying safe if that's where you are. You better. You better be staying safe. I'll get a little angry. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a new comment on a YouTube video. <laughs> I got a new comment on a YouTube video. Gonna read this one out to you. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have never heard a 15 minute conversation about Garrus's package. Just if you ever want to know what our impact on the internet is. There you go. Isn't that delightful that we can enlighten people in this way? Just wait till that person gets to the egg discussion. Cause boy oh boy. Boy oh boy. Life is all about new experiences. <laughs> One or two? It was when, I think it was when we first started like flirting with him and we were like the stress relief. And then we were like, huh, I wonder what. And then we had a hype train about Garrus and his ding dong and all lack thereof. We don't know. <laughs> Sometimes we don't, we shouldn't know. Are you barnacle? <laughs> Uh, also, I think it was Wokiki who asked where we're at. We are about to start court. Uh, I know that Edgeworth is there and that's all that I know. But we're about to start day one of the court proceedings. This is absolutely not gonna be uh, the last day of court proceedings because uh, someone's gonna ha How dare you? <laughs> Chat wondered what you specific. I don't want to know the canon answer of what Garrus is packing. I don't want to know. I don't want to. I don't want to know. Cause you know what? One of my TikToks about Garrus kind of like, like was a little popular. And there were people who have no clue what Mass Effect or Garrus in the comments being like, yo, I'm, this guy, he kind of, ooh. And, 
And I don't want to ruin it for them, and I don't want to ruin it for me. Are we starting or ending? We're, we're starting. We're just about to hop in the game. See you, Crimson! Why would this ruin end? It just went. Uh, this man is a scam, a crook, and stupid AF. His looks are not enough. Yes, they are. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. That Close. Yeah. Are you learning that now? <laughs> what standards? What do you mean? <laughs> What standards did I ever have? <laughs> I did! I finished all of Mass Effect, apart from Andromeda, but... Mass Effect 1, 2, 3. Done. <clears throat> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during this trial will all point to this fact. Oh, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Oh no, I hope your head feels better. Xemnas was only redeemed at the very end. Reno, I don't think has been redeemed. Sephiroth is irredeemable. Um, yeah. Very well, I call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with a guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of the action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5pm. The production staff came to the Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30pm. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? No. We got it on lockdown. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. CC? No. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Captions. We go. We go. How medieval. Samurai Spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. Okay. Will the witness declare her name? Huh? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> your, your, your name, please. 
Oh, dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. <laughs> Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. When's the old bag, dearie? So just call me Grandma. It's practically my name. So even when I was young, I was an old bag. So all the other children would make fun of me because my name, you believe it? But there's this boy, the captain of the chest. He called me an old bag while I just cried and cried because... <sighs> Objection! I object to the witnesses' talkative dis... Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. <laughs> and to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. See, well. Hi, Blue Bird. How you doing? Uh, you know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> huh? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through since, since, yeah, yeah, since this morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5pm. Now, the murder happened at 2.30pm, right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right past me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, the man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I arrived at the trial. Let's quickly go over the evidence we have. Not much, lol. We have the uh, the photo though, which is the one that we want. If I recall correctly. A man walked right by me at 2 p.m. Can we press her on that? 2 p.m. You're sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. <laughs> now, now, don't get your shiv skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was headed towards the studio. Nick. Doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Windbags. Loves gossiping about other people's misfortunes. Ugh. Can't she get a kick somewhere else? Hi, Moose. Hi, Muncie. How's it going? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the car station at 1pm. But you can't guarantee it was Powers because it's just a picture of the uniform, no? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to press. Whoopsies! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Boom. Boom. Objection! Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Um, Mrs. Oldback, Miss Oldback, you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Seems like Edgeworth got over his last failure and is now back in court, ready to update those autopsies more than ever. <laughs> Uh, a lazy day. Oh, it's nice to have a nice lazy day. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Mrs. Miss Oldbag! Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Uh, um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Uh, uh, 
Oh, I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, uh, Miss Witness. He's having trouble calling that old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Ah, uh, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Uh, what? Ah! Uh, <laughs> even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the, old, the, the witness. Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. I like it when Edgeworth gets all stumbly because he's so calm and collected and then he messes up and it's great. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should all be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old Wimberg has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. Loss of composure. I never said anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Did he break the samurai spear? Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. But the That's how I know it was Powers. Happy? Hi, Ryan. You too. You too, Ryan. You were cutie too. Mm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Okay. We can do that. He broke a prop. Sure did. He owns his own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. I agree. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. It was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Well, Nick, find any glaring contradi contradictions? Well, she seems pretty sure that was Powers in that photo. I guess I'll just press her and see if I can shake her conviction. Okay. Let's do that. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? Well, she was cleaning us up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue with your testimony. Hmm. Okay. Didn't we do this? Yeah. Oh. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is the steel samurai costume now? Uh... Um, actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object! Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. 
Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Enjoy your luck, penguin. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. <laughs> The time of Paul Hammond's death was 2.30 p.m. True, the only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Would you? Would you? There were two photos taken, if I recall correctly. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I'm ready. I mean, the poor hammer's up with two and the only person uh, no one else went there. I would have seen them. Are you sure? Yes, what? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have an edgy boy. <laughs> uh, edgy, edgy boy. Yeah. <laughs> Old windbag sure has balls, or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbags have a uh, way of skipping over important details after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. <sighs> um. Hold it! Hold it. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. <laughs> if they had, I would have seen them. Old windbag shall hurt. Blah, 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 blah. How convenient. So, you know, of course you have. Um, do we have... Photo number two. That's what I... Can I... Let's see. Um, no one else went there. Uh, unless... Objection! Objection! Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo, I printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I think that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sunny? Actually, I knew that too. <laughs> the issue here is the bit where, it, at the end, where it says, photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. <gasps> Uh, me? Watch yourself! You watch your mouth, you whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Ah, uh, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Ah, uh, uh, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Ugh, but believe me, I want to, but I don't know what to make this means either. Uh, um, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Uh, whippersnapper. Something that matter, Mrs. O Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the steel samurai. Uh, 
Well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Photo number two is the extremely disappointing follow-up to Mambo number five. <laughs> oh my god. Old bag is desperately attempting to signal all the gays in the room and no one's picking up on it. <laughs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. If there are any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss, Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway. Miss Wright, please. Mr. Wright. Oh my god, I'm messing up everyone. Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. A little bit of Edgeworth in my life. A little bit of right makes all things right. I'll come on for better lyrics. Uh <laughs> well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Uh, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. A little bit of Phoenix makes things right. That's so much better. You you are all so much smarter than I am. Thank you. Thank you. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the- for the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing that old photo- one photo the other day. Come to think of it, couldn't she think of that a little earlier? Classic old windbag maneuver, Maya. Mm hmm. Might be a useful tactic to remember for use in my future career as a windbag. Let's find out more about this erased photo. Hi, you need technique. How's it going? Check them. Hold it. I have one other important job to do. Destroy evidence. Woo! <laughs> Hi, VMH. How are you? I guess Kiwi as well. How's it going? Well, uh, who in the heck was the f uh, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huff, a fanboy. F fanboy. Steel samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. What? Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well. If you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. This is important information, old bag. <sighs> the grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain. <laughs> Yo! Thank you so much. <laughs> Not the fan boys. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. What the butts? What the butts? VMH, thank you so freaking much for the brand new sub and also the three months in advance. That is, you're putting a lot of faith in me, my friend. Um, thank you. That's very, very sweet. Enjoy all of the emotes. Uh, I hope you like them. And your brand new sub badge. Those darn fanboys. Out of control. Um, hi Joe, how's it going? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and, and they're kids, children, whippersnappers. K kids? So oh, on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. I don't know how old, Americans, how old are you if you're second or third grade? Order, order. Let me get this straight. 
You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Seven or eight? Eight, ten, eight, nine, seven, eight? Okay. Oh yes, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible? I'd think it's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. Would that make him a suspect? Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. So you've changed the old bag's voice. Not intentionally. Um, does that mean we can we talk to Edgeworth? Oh, Mr. Powers. Mr. Powers. Oh, I forgot what voice I gave you, Mr. Powers. Uh, yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. Uh, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was in that steel samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really? What? You should take better care of the blah blah blah. You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> you're the only one like you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, wh what are we going to do? First, we need to play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that have, could conceivably, conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Wu Powers. Hi, family! Thank you for the follow! Wise man, thank you! <laughs> thank you. Wow, man, flies, Louise, love, Louise, hype. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, wise man, for the eight months of support. <coughs> thank you so much for the tier two as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back, my friend. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thought on this matter? Uh, the prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Mm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. Uh, however, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Ah! Alright, agreed. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who wants this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Um, I've discovered you on Twitter with your story with oh, me and Garris, my husband, love of my life. Um, welcome. Is it Mackensia? Max, 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 Is that how I say it? 
Let me know. Yes, this is the first Ace Attorney game. I think we should, weirdly, also hi Schwartz, how are you? Weirdly, I think we should accuse the assistant girl. Because then that's a new witness that we have to bring in, which would extend the court proceedings. I think if we accuse the child, they're literally gonna be, it's a child, like they're just gonna be like, it's a child, you terrible lawyer. And I think the security lady is gonna talk too much and ruin stuff. But the assistant girl means that we have to bring in someone new. Like the Z in xylophone. Mazencia. Eh? God, a child. <laughs> I think we should accuse the assistant. Thank you, Shorts. That was my intention. I wanted to look kind of law-ish. This court doesn't look kindly on accusing the innocent. This court accuses the innocent nine times out of 10. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Okay, assistant girl. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it and in doing so became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai in the picture is really the assistant. That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the steel samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Ugh, ugh. But she saw, she saw the practice. So she knew. Ugh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? Yeah, I do. But she was there. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her. She was... Fuck! She wasn't there! Fuck! Ah! I was wrong! God damn it. No! No! I thought she was there. I thought she was there. No! My lawyering days are over! The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the steel samurai... Look, she could look the steel samurai look with that costume, but she couldn't walk the steel samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ugh! That kind of takes the legs out from under that case. Maya, uh... Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Fudge! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. May we move on, Mr. Wright? Ugh, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, you're on a one more chance, please. Very well. Go ahead. Accuse Edgeworth. Let's do that. Actually, good shout. Um, okay. Do I accuse the child? Or the lady? Give the same answer. <laughs> In this shared society, are we not all murderers? Is one murder not our murder? Gumshoe! Uh, that would make sense. A child? No! It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Uh, who? A steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. Uh, there was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady. Old bag. Uh, wh uh, what? Whippersnapper! Jack Hammer? What if he did it? He's dead! <laughs> Uh, Gumshoe's my favorite character. Uh, some people in chat have, uh, decided to form a group, uh, pr a protection standing group, I suppose, uh, for, for Gumshoe. It's called the Dick Protection Squad, or DPS for short. So... <laughs> DPS! DPS! <laughs> 
Order, order. Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. The name what? His name is Dick. That's literally his name. Dick Gumshoe. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Uh, why, why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. To get an alibi on the photo. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. Uh, I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? <sighs> the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Uh, wh wh what? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole, the whole way. Go! Press further, Phoenix! The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That, that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Uh, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed. And let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could have not committed this murder. Why did you say that, Phoenix? They believed us anyway. Oh, didn't we say that this weapon was really heavy? Oh. And they do need a card key. Oh, maybe the card key. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that! The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Ugh. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wind... What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. I think Edgeworth doesn't want to defend old bag. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh great, oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is all this about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Uh, not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, well, well testify. Okay, okay. A twist in the turn in the a twist in the a turn in the twist a turn in the case, a twist and turn in the case. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people on the studios on the day of the murder. Thank you. A twist in our case. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Eliana, thank you very, very, very much for the brand new sub. That is incredibly kind of you. Welcome on into our sub family. Enjoy all of the emotes. Um, also, if you... Uh, uh, so our Discord is not sub only, but if you want emotes and stuff, that's the Discord. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. I hope you're doing well. Not a twisty turn. That's the most lethal of turns. No way, Jose. No. No finny fun. No. I thought I had escaped. This game is fun and all, but finny fun. Man. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Double heckin' digits, Bruhai. Thank you. I hope you're doing good today. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Never finny fun. Ever. Uh, they said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Okay. Uh, Miss, Miss Oldenburg. This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I love that Edgeworth just has to go along with this. And he's like, right, well, I guess I gotta... Yeah. Nice. Uh, they wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people. Well, who? Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of that action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? That was a Studio 2? We knew that was Phoenix. Come on now. Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head... Uh, the path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to uh, continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... We can just press her, maybe. So they told me it's friendly, they just haven't been in the studios. I don't think we need to do this, but... So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. Mm -hmm. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. Edgeworth? Ex I oh, do you feel sorry for Edgeworth? Ooh. Uh, I always feel sorry for Edgeworth. I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Uh, but if you're gonna accuse me... Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. Nick, I guess pressing her was the right thing to do. For an old windbag, she sure likes keeping secrets. Let's get as much information as we can. Miss old bag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. You were bribed? So, you got your bonus and you still talked. <laughs> I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Take a break. Take a break. We can go on. Do, 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 do. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. 
I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Boop. Wow, what a day, eh? District Court Defendant Lobby Number Three. Sha la la. Swim this way. Well dance and well play now. It's very easy, come on in. Just take a chance and shake a fin swim along. Just join in the song. A musical for everyone. To have a lot of finny fun. Finny finny forever finny finny fun. No. No. That's what I say to that. Objection! That's what I say to that. Thank you for the 100 biddies, Drusifer. I appreciate it. Hi, Kevin. How's it going? It's a K drama, though. <gasps> Wait, is there romance in it? Is there lots of long looking at each other whilst, like, there's like an overlay and some music at the end of each episode? Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. <laughs> grin. <laughs> I don't know how you make the sound of a grin, but... Or should I... Sniff? What? I <laughs> thought... We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. Uh, they'll be turning up uh, in the next trial as witnesses for... <laughs> they'll be turning up. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for Sutton. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I was just busy buying time back there. Uh, someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure of Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> to be continued what's gonna happen next i wonder i'd love to save my progress yes back game over <laughs> you lost <sighs> what a day this is no time for relaxing nick say you think wp's got a chance I guess that really depends on the people we found out about today in today, blah, 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 about in today's trial. Thank you for the hydrate. The director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, well, what are we going to what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. What if we just bopped? When can we go to Edgeworth's office? Sorry, not that I have a fixation in this game. I am all about the law. Yes. <laughs> uh, no one's here. Right. Now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Uh, hey, in the guard station, look. She left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Sure. I believe you. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He probably is up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path of the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Um, It really weirds me out every time she calls him Nick for some reason. Uh, Where's the Pepsi Max? 
Here. Where's the monster? Here. Where's the water? Here. I can't make a decision. Uh, yeah, all of these are open and I'm drinking all of them. Um. Um. How do you even drink all? I just, I just take sips of all of them. <laughs> Um, am I doing a murder investigation? Oh, is that free food? <gasps> hey, skill. Is it schizophrenics? Hello, how you doing? Decision machine broke. True. Um, I like water. I like water. I just always forget to get water. But if I have it here, I will drink it. You decided to be amazing today, though. Hi, Vastix. How are you? I like Nick, but it took me so long to make the Phoenix Nick connection. I just feel like Phoenix is a great name. Why wouldn't you want to call him that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, the fuck is a decision? <laughs> This is Studio 2. Hi, KG. How's it going? Recovering from my short holiday. I hope you had fun. Did you have good weather? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's the trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? One way to find out, I guess. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close, that fence looks dangerous. Oh, oh! Wait, look, this is broken. Wait, I feel like this is important. I feel like this is vital information. Maybe not. Uh, okay. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they eat T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Hi, Dudas. How's it going? Have you pressed Q to scroll the screen? No, yeah, I was investigating this side. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. Uh, they've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? You're pretty cool. You can't scroll in all locations. You can scroll in some though. Uh, as far as I know. Uh, an incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. There's a big tube painted here. Probably because this is studio two. Probably, though it doesn't look anything like a studio. He rides a bike in the anime. Oh, wait, that's cute. I like that. Well, I don't think we can explore anything else. Oh, oh. <gasps> Nick, 
let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. Aw, shucks. Can we stare in the windows? <laughs> As lawyers should do. Hmm. Well, Maya, I'm afraid I feel we have not done as well as we could have. Hmm. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. <laughs> I want to go somewhere, someplace else. Nick? <sighs> Well, I don't know what you want from me, hun. Hey, look, that's the chair that I wrecked to sit in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick, action. This girl is more trouble than I thought. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Uh, right, so, this girl is out there. <laughs> this girl is so wild with her cultural associations. <laughs> My God. Uh, Nick is a nickname. Nick is a nickname for Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, we are Phoenix, right? Yeah. I think I think Phoenix is a cooler name personally, but Maya just decides no. What I say goes, and you know what? Fair play, because Maya's cool, so I accept it. Uh, what is Gumshoes nickname? I'm not gonna say that one. Um, himbo. Wow, look at the camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Hey, smile, Nick, you're a star. Stop that. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in a steel samurai show. What does DPS mean? Um, Dick Protection Squad. Yeah, we'll just let that one kind of sit for a bit. Um, anyway, uh, of course, that's the mountain near Fujiyama. Doesn't the steel samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. The outlet where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why their head paw looks like a helmet. <laughs> and all of the body looks... what? Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Okay. That's a reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. Hmm. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. Um, she can have dreams, Phoenix. Okay. Hi, Iron Dude. How's it going? Content brand for gamers? No, no. Wasn't there a thing? What was it called? There was a a gamer product. What was it called? There was a gamer product for like gamers and like preventing sweaty hands oh wait gamer goo was that what it was or something 
Uh, I'm enjoying Ace Attorney so much. It's really, really good. I'm having a good time. I'm burst. Maybe I'll sit down here for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to get old ever. Uh, hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say I'm still young, you know it's all over. But, but I am still young. He is, to be fair. He's 24. In the trial, they said Studio 2 was down this path. The monkey head is in the way, but we should be able to get by it without a problem. This monkey head is real heavy! Well, it did knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, fell the day of the murder, didn't they? Yeah, that's what Detective Gumshoe said. A studio mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. I've never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. Thank you for the follow. Maya, I'm always, Maya is 17. Maya is a little baby. Maya, Maya is still new to the world and doesn't know anything. What did we know at 17? I don't know. I How to get drunk really quickly. That was kind of it. Uh, hi, Tater. How are you? How is it going? Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you'd probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. I knew how to stay up and read fan fiction. I know that now. At 23. Actually, I knew that at like several different stages of my life, I think. <laughs> um, I'm glad you're doing good. I feel like I know less now than at 17. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. How's it going? I hope I hope work is going okay. Um, let's maybe go to the employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> uh, is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Uh, right. Just, uh, lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fix them. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. <laughs> Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbug. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. Um, at 17, I watched all of Code Geese season two in a single sitting at 3 a.m. How many, how long, how much is that? How long? Yeah, we definitely didn't almost accuse her of murder. And by almost accuse, I mean, we absolutely did accuse. We were just told that we were wrong. At 17, I probably got conscious that my life was never going anywhere. <laughs> No! Oh my god. Uh, beans. There is still time. There is always time. Uh, move. Uh, no, not that. Examine. <laughs> so, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain. So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? Oh, what? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Oh, she's serious. Oh, God. Sure. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! <laughs> you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah! That, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. 
The drain gate is off. And I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Yay! At 17, I read fanfic on my PS2 browser because I didn't have a smartphone. That's actually incredible. You got your first tattoo during work lunch break. Oh my goodness. What was I doing at 17? I think I got my ears pierced when I wasn't like supposed to. <laughs> um, I wasn't a very cool kid. I was, I, I, I'll be honest. Um, I think I was probably just sad kind of stressed about life. I think I dyed my hair. You know, wild. Uh, doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Okay. Looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? Makes it a lot easier to go up hills. You talking about last week? No, I was talking about this morning. Don't people cycle to get exercise? There's a half finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably near old Tokyo Castle. You are so smart, Mr. Phoenix. The remains of the other day's lunch is scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. You still haven't cleaned it up. That's like two day old steak now. Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool tea. Samurai, yeah, no, we've, we've talked about it. We've talked about this. Let's go in. We're not thieves, but we did take the car key. We, we borrowed that, there's a difference. Sure. If you say so. Uh, a solid schedule in my life in order. Those were the days. <laughs> you broke your foot, oh no. Yo, working at a library would be so nice. Could you just read like, were you actively doing stuff or could you just chill and read whilst there was nothing going on? Um, I'm still in love with Theo from Persona 3 Portable, although the list is a bit long now. <laughs> I learned to play Magic the Gathering and basically lost that year of school. <laughs> uh, rat. This is why the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. 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 That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh, she's got a point. There's some regular suits in. Yeah, we've done this. Um, looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap. It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. Burp, burp, burp. There's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was used in some old TV show. Samurai boogie woogie, Nick. Get with the picture. Look, explain to me ju uh, how you can identify a show just by seeing a wig. I uh, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. No, 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 no. Wait, Nick. What now? These snacks. They've passed the expiration date. Then don't eat them. Oh, the snacks. They're meant to be eaten. Mr. Power's bag. I wonder what's inside. Hey, uh, hey. Supermarket tabloids. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone. Wolfman, fandom, Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. They always have merits. My hair is still nice and spiky, just now I like it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we've done everything here. Um, Nick is into Wolfman. You're not? Uh, JK, I'm genuinely scared to watch Beastars because I don't want to learn that about myself. Oh, hello. 
Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. What kind of an alternative garden, guard, garden? <laughs> alternative guard fashion thing. No, that's why I'm scared to watch Beastars. I don't want to, I don't know if I need to fall in love with the wolf man. Learn what about yourself? Okay, so Beastars is this anime and it's on Netflix and they're all animals. And I don't want to fall, and like, I feel like I will fall in love with the main character if I watch it, but he's a wolf. Like, yeah, I mean, like he's, I mean, he walks around on two legs, but he is a wolf. <laughs> You know, and do I need to, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I need to know. Robin Hood is amazing. I was saying this in Discord. I, as a child, had a crush on Maid Marian, but I feel like that's very different from me as an adult having a crush on Lagoshi, 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 Lagoshi. Another fictional character, you know, I was confused by Garrus, and now I don't know if I want to add a wolf to the list. You had a crush with a squirrel in Sword in the Stone? Hold on. Hold on. Squirrel. Sword in the Stone. <laughs> the fair play. You know? I can't. <laughs> Uh, don't judge me. I can't. I literally had a crush on Maid Marian from Robin Hood. Weirdly, I didn't have a crush on Robin Hood, though. It was definitely like Maid Marian. Um, and sometimes, and you know, growing up, I was like, I don't think I'm gay. No, me interested in women. No, no, no. I was interested in a goddamn fox woman. Tigress was my gay awakening at 10. Wait, for, wait. From Kung Fu Panda? Wait, from, <laughs> from Kung Fu Panda? Why do I remember that being hot? Oh, who am I thinking? Oh no, Tigress is, the eyes are very beautiful. Who am I thinking of from Kung Fu Panda that I was like, yeah. As a child, not now. I don't know what, I'm not calling the, no, ah, uh, no. Okay, we're stopping that. Hello, we're solving crime. Um, <laughs> ah! Tell me about the studios. <laughs> so how are the studios doing? As police wandering around everywhere, it's terrible. Yes, exactly. The bit where her eyes are all big and sparkly and she has that like little drape thing on her. No, okay, stop, stop it, stop it. We're not doing this, we're... I can't watch Beastars, it's not happening. I can't do it. I, I think I like Thomas from Aristocrats. I like la the lady from uh, the lady from Aristocrats. Stop! 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 But she was really pretty. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You haven't. I said that was gross. You mean those plates with the left uh, the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Are we doing this right now, Hannah? Right here? No. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular, a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him though. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? I guess we gotta find this producer. I don't think we're gonna find anything new. Looks like it's been turned off for the day. 
great. Okay. Well, um, oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. Uh, not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. <laughs> so, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? I'm looking forward to hearing all about how Hannah's fallen in love with Lagoshi next stream. Mm, maybe. I'm in between two animes right now. I either want to start B Stars or I want to start Bongo Bongo Stray Dogs. Which isn't about actual dogs, as far as I know. <laughs> I know that there's a man called Dazai in it, and he's got some fantastic voice lines. Um, yeah. <coughs> uh, I already said who Hannah is going to ship in that anime. I'm waiting to go back and quote it in Discord. <laughs> Watch B-Stars with you. I'm watching Skate with someone, then I'm going to be watching Bongo Stray Dogs with someone, and then I'll watch B-Stars with you, and I'll just have my trifecta of shows that I'm watching with people. Um, hmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. Do you know about this fanboy? Do a fanboy sneak into the studios often? No, no, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run through? Yeah, yes, he was. Uh, he was directing how the steel samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? But, well, the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's gonna lose big. Uh, I see. <laughs> um, because Dazai is so valid. <laughs> That's what got me started too. I just keep hearing TikTok voice lines and I'm like, Excuse me. Excuse me? Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? Uh, no, no, I sure hope not. Mm, okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what to do, Maya. What do you think we should do? What, what, what do I, huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on this direct. Well, yeah, but I don't know where they are. That's what I've been saying. We were at the studio. We were literally at the studio. We were there. We were there the whole time and we couldn't find them. This place is deserted. What? Uh, no. What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Run! Run! The music with the tension has... Falling apart. Uh, uh, oh no. Huh? Is that what you wanted me to do? I wanted to. On my finger on the pad. No! 
Oh my goodness. I hope you run out under some water or something. Look after yourself. Um. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I... Oh, maybe we can... You're not really sure what the guide map is. Say, you work with props, right? About the murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? I don't think it was that, though. I think... Right, here's what I think happened so far. I think that this here, you see this? I think like the guy fell on it or something because I don't think the prop weapon could have actually killed him. I think he fell on it and like died. And then whoever pushed him or whoever blah, blah, blah was like, right, frick, I've got to pin this on someone else. And like put the weapon in him. And also the weapon was weak enough. It broke in the, the practice session. You know? Just saying. At the security guard station. I don't think they let us borrow it. So what do you want us to do? I don't know what you want me to do. God, I figured out the whole case maybe, but I can't even figure out how to get into a building. Is there something I can give you to make you go away? Large brain, detective hat, hell yeah. Um, What's the present button do? Basically, you have like pieces of evidence and I think it just encourages them to talk about it. A detective hand emo. Oh, we need like a, like with a magnifying glass or like a note taking one. That would be cute. We don't have any emote slots, but it would be cute. Um. <gasps> yeah, like that. Exactly like that, Sadie. Oh my god, that's such a cute emote. Have you talked? Oh, wait. Can we examine it again? The security guard station. Oh, oh! I think we investigated the computer and not the guard state. Okay. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Okay, can we just talk to her? Dodge! Right, maybe we need to leave and then we can come back. We'll just move around a bit, you know? Wow, look at the plant. Lovely. I don't think this is gonna work. For is any okay, let's do it. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is, sorry. Until the plot advances. <laughs> I think it was Mrs. Peacock with a candlestick in the ballroom. Yes. Miss Penny, move. Yeah, I've talked to her completely. Present the spear through her heart. Huh? card key. Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys? Well, well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good about keeping these out of outsiders' hands. Thanks. I'll be careful. Sure you won't be, buddy.
Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Who would you... Uh, uh, J O on dudes? Lamau! Uh, uh, uh huh? Wait, wait. Wait, you're fast. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers! <laughs> How can J O O not know the great Salmonella? <laughs> Fuck off, video games. Um, I make the lead shows to steal Samurai, mine! RTFC, read the film credits! Really? You're the Salmonella? I I'm so sorry. I just, I, you look, oh, sorry. I think I fooled this person as a child. I don't think they are a child. <laughs> no, no, quite all right. Really, it's fine, Ruffle. <laughs> what is it? You know, on closer inspection. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, did I, uh, did I, I do a lot of calls. Oh, wait, is that just you? Do you do. Do you. Ew, put your tongue away! Uh, 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 I don't like you here, I don't feel safe. Do a lot of cosplay, because that costume rocks! <laughs> what? What? Hey, you're drooling! <laughs> Lol, buffer overrun. <laughs> oh my god. You've triggered my creative powers. <laughs> yes, yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink, Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. Ruffle them out. If we murdered someone, we'd... Would anyone here tell anyone? We can just, we can just, like, real quick kill him, hide his body in the drain. Oh, uh, Ping Ping says, why is it got to be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't I have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I don't want to talk to you. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Ooh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the studio to trailer. <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Sad face. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suckers. I hate missing out on food. Oh. Nick, what does suck sauce mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D -V -V Squeeze? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Um... Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Uh... Who exactly are the bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors and a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension! Uh, were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all grey-haired geezers. Ugh. Huh, sounds like they'd be reliable witnesses. Welcome back, we fall! Well, it's been a time. I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me, lol. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, uh, she's a child. I don't like it here. <laughs> This is WP, right? 
How do you know? Well, look, he, he, well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury. He was there. Okay. Move. Vacate the area, I beg. I wish to never be here ever again. <laughs> you again! What is your voice like? <laughs> How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Hmm. This lady is too much. Uh, about that kid you so, said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. N Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director, the one... She really kept those lips... Sealed. <laughs> Cinderella tactics. Uh, about the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. I'm terrified. The security guard station. I can see the computer. There. Hey, no touching. How do I get rid of you? <laughs> Look at that lady and tell me she's physically capable of shutting the fuck up. <laughs> um. <laughs> WP, my guy, you've got to help me. I don't know what to do. Yo, Edgeworth, have you got any tips? My God, just tell me one thing. Oh, can we talk? Hey, hey, bud. Hey, Edgeworth, I'll tr I'll I'll give you one of my pieces of information if you give me one of yours. Cause, hey, Edgeworth, what if we both murdered the old lady? I think he'd be down. The easiest way might be murder. I think so. I think so. Just break the window. I mean, I think we could literally just knock. I'm pretty sure there's someone in there. I know, Phoenix, for the last time I will not tell you my school routine. <laughs> Come on, Edgewa. Tell me how you get that dumb truck. Um. I don't know what to do. I like how Edgeworth is down to let you roll back and call. We, we united for one, for one moment. And even Phoenix was like, usually Edgeworth would really be objecting right now, but he seems pretty chill. Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. I don't know. Valid. True. How? I don't know 
how to get her to move. So, yeah. You can give me a poke in the right direction. Because I am very confused. Try outside the employer. Okay. Bump into shit until the plot advances. <laughs> it's like a Shepard in Mass Effect. Shepard was absolutely just standing in silence the same way that, uh, uh, oh God. Uh, in the same way that Phoenix absolutely is just walking around in circles until something happens. Hey. Uh, hey, wait! I'll, I'll bet he came in right through that drain. Uh, hey, um, Kittyo, what's your name, Sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you... you are a kid. What a rude little brat! That's no way to talk to an adult! I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick! Uh, uh, hippie fashion chick? I think I'm being mocked. <laughs> you gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp. And pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackens. Call me Kitty or again, I'll cut you down when you stand, evildoer! Okay. Okay. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer! What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side! Ah! 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 You can't fool me! Okay, okay, what's the last line headed by the innkeeper in episode 8? <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? Mm, not bad, kiddio. Watch it! What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Mm. You were here, weren't you? Hmm. Did you see anything? He, he, he always, the Steel Samurai always wins, always. Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. What, wait, let me go. 30 seconds till insertion. Maya said gaslight gatekeep girl boss. And we love her for that. Thank you so much for the 100 bitties, Megan. Thank you very much. He's just a seal samurai, Kenny. <laughs> He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped it into it on his way out. You can't see! Drugs! Maybe? Maybe? Uh, why was this sitting there, I wonder? An empty bottle. Sleeping pills! Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do with drugs? Like, genuinely, I don't know. Um. Okay, let's move. What are you? What? Hey, director, what do you have to say about this? Well, I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me at all. Okay, well. Good enough, I guess. Consume. That seems the best place to start, really. Just, 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 just have a little munch on them. <laughs> munch on drugs, yep. Um. Uh, where's that old Oh, <gasps> She's gone! Ought of her to leave her post. Hey! Oh, cause the kid's here! Nick, that was her! Stop! Stop! We're stop her! <laughs> yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Uh oh, she tripped. My shawl looks happy. <laughs> go, 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 go! Get the goods! Get- no, no, no! Get the goods! Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance! Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! Uh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? 
We sure heck it will, Aya, but I'm, this is not me setting an example for you. You you need to be good and not commit crimes. Um, It's time. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. <gasps> it opened. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. Be gay do crimes. And we do be gay. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> Someone's in here. Names. Uh, uh, honey. Uh, we're WP's lawyers and, um. I see. And who might you? Diva Squeeze, the producer. Diva Squeeze, she's quite beautiful. Okay, you chaotic bisexual. Calm yourself. Am I speaking to Phoenix or myself? I'm not really sure. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss for squeeze. A script. Uh, excuse me. Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, a script? Script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. Um. Diva. I still don't get it. Diva. Oh, like Diva? Oh, I got that. Yeah. Oh, well. I need it. Uh, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere faster. Uh, we, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss for Squeeze. It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her! Uh, hey, don't get mad at me. About the director. Salmonella, was it? Um, what, uh, exactly is his role here? Um, perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Vasquez. We can say it like that. Divasquez. Divasquez. Uh, Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Uh, yeah. Wait. Uh, yes. If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to run your errands? I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, uh, we'll give it to him if we see him. Okay. Well, what a good first introduction, I guess. <laughs> hey, this is yours. Here, I got this from the producer. Oh, bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? Uh, I must have left it somewhere. Oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it! Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. <sighs> okay, um... Does that mean we have to examine everything? I guess not. Oh! There's a bunch of snacks on the table. Wait, wait, wait. we've talked about the snacks. Uh, I ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway, Ruffle. She's biting her lip and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. I can relate to that. 
Okay. She looks like some mafia queen or something like that. Like she could kill you at any time. And you would thank her. Yes, absolutely. As you should. Um. Wow, Nikki, my son's not about the hit. What else Nikki would have felt Um. Do 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 I guess we just have to... I mean, I don't know where it's gonna be. Ah, uh, let's see Studio One. If you lost a script, where would you lose it? He's a gamer dude. The AQ dude is called Salmonella? Yeah! Yeah! Uh... We're not driving. I just didn't know if you would keep the script in there. You have the Gamer Girl. That's a great, that's a great song though, to be fair. Mm. Um. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find out what we need and get out of here quick. Okay. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. The director! Script? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Yay! Um... Uh, I don't understand why you put an Ezra type in a video game. So we can laugh at it and try and never become it. Um, I'll say Studio 2. Uh, trailer. Uh, present. Woo. Here, we found it, your script. Uh, mm, uh, you're not gonna talk to us? Quiet, I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And, and, do, do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers. Uh, right. Am I a suspect? No, no, I just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Y yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that, what an original name. Its head fell in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 p.m. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capisce? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. Wh what? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But, but wait, 
But what if the head fell over, uh, over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in... Oops. Oh, one ook per hour? Ook, 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 ook. <laughs> Always with the ooking. I mean, it is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Why is everything always a clock? A statue, but also a clock for some reason. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we are innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See, goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. <sighs> sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. No! I have... I know! I believe I am right. The video game is wrong. Fine. Fine! Fine. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Me? Who? You've got one lead. Mia! Stop it! I don't- Mia, I'm very uncomfortable by the, the relationship we have now established. I'm not sure about it. M Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling Mila. She re she's really in trouble. Right! Oh, what? I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean? We have one lead. The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything! What? But, but no way am I telling you, losers. It's weird that when Maya is, you know, doing her medium stuff, that she takes over the body of, of, is weird. Is, I mean, obviously I realize why I'm not stupid, but it's weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. He didn't sound like he was gonna help us at all. Uh, I'm sure she- you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm even more worried than I was before. 30 seconds till insertion. Hey Maya, can you channel this guy I knew once? He was um, a Turian named Garrus. My uh, friend really wants to talk to them. My uh, my friend, my uh, this person I knew one time. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bitties, Orange. I appreciate it. Okay, back to the studios we go. <laughs> what, what's wrong? Uh, whipper, whipper snapper. She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Uh, when, when I catch him, I... It sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. <laughs> I got a hostage now with a snapper. A hostage? You have a hostage? What's this about a hostage? <gasps> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back <gasps> for this one. It's kind of hard to understand it with all that huffing and puffing. Hi, Trey. How are you? Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Old Bat my No! I'm catching that brat of it. It's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm? I wonder. 
Um, drugs. Um, uh, 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 my attorney's badge. A simple and easy trade. Fair. Maybe we could give these back. Well, maybe the kick card. I don't really know. Oh, what do you want? Oh, oops. Let's find out more. What happened to the boy? <laughs> if I see him again. Oh, <gasps> lay him flat. <sighs> My, what a violent old lady. I, actually, I met with the director just now. <gasps> My heart, it don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Oh! 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 Where did he die again? In Studio One? <laughs> That's a card! Studio One? Right, a key card? Card key? <laughs> to Studio One. I, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag. Studio One isn't my turf. You let me borrow. You let me borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I want to make a trade. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to know where to whip 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 blah 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 whip a snappers. Uh you take this and we're even deal. What's this? A still samurai trading card. That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Any leads? We found a child. We found a woman. We found a creepy man. Um, I think that's it. Uh, oh, oh, with the is just like a young person. <laughs> the ta oh my god, the testimony was madness. I just love that Edgeworth wasn't even objecting. He was just like, yeah, I, I'm done here. I don't want to be here. Um, right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Now to find a child. Where is the child? Where is the child? Oh, uh, child? <gasps> Hi! Hey. Um, hell is real for Miles Edgeworth and her name is Wendy Holdback. <laughs> um, Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Oh, God. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Ugh. Damn it. He's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. What? Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please. I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Phoenix, right? He asked. Phoenix, can you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <laughs> Hey, kid. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's uh, the bomb. How? <laughs> what a lame like you know about the Steel Samurai. Uh, hey, what's the attitude? Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Uh, so, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. 
Hmm, looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe? Hey kid, I got these cool trading cards. Cody, this look familiar. Hey! My, you are! You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare! That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. What, what, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? Ugh, if you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Where the fuck do I find a card? Um. Hey, bud. Fuck. Oh well, let's try again another day, Phoenix. But I thought he might. Okay. Bad idea, I guess. Um. What about. Someone else. Hey, has the the lady got one? I don't know why she would. Hi, Gata. How's it going? Oh, oh, hi. Hello. Oh, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. The uh, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Ah, uh, no, she's the same as always. The same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Do you know anything about cards? Thank you! Maybe Ashworth is a secret still samurai enthusiast and has tons of cards. I guess we have to visit him. What a shame. My enemy? Gosh. Does my hair look all right? If I have to visit my enemy, is it spiky enough? I mean, is it? Uh... Master Zero, thank you so much. Thank you for the brand new sub. That is very, very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy all the emotes and your brand new sub badge. Thank you. That's very sweet. Um, How are you doing today? Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast that I thought she collapsed. Uh, of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their job a little too seriously. <laughs> Not me though. Uh, all the posters on the wall here of how. Yeah, it's a really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y you mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm having an Oh no! I was having a really rough day too, so I definitely was looking forward to distraction with stream. So. We will distract you also. I hope you can find something fun. I hope I am somewhat funny or amusing or entertaining in any way. Thank you for the poster check. Uh, oh no, Edgeworth, this one ultra record is going to cost me a smooch. Whatever will I do? Oh no, Edgeworth. Oh no. What happened? Wait, now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do we get the feeling something's being covered up here? Hi, Digby. How are you? 
Uh, I can't tell you how refreshing it was to find your Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough to finally find someone whose first reaction to hearing the name Sephiroth was who it was really great. <laughs> Catching up on your OG Final Fantasy VII and looking forward to watching your crisis call. Oh, thank you so much. That's so, so kind. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite parts of my entire Final Fantasy Remake playthrough is when Kate Sith shows up for like two seconds and my face is just like like just so confused at what on earth that thing is i was just like huh <laughs> what is that why are they showing me this thing it was great a rare black yeah i played um it was my first ever squeenix game and first ever final fantasy game uh was the remake and that quickly changed. I fell in love with it a little bit, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes. To bring you a cat, indeed. Um, cat shit. I know. I've never. I've heard it. You know. I've heard cat shit. I've not heard cat she. But I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of Kate Seth. I have to say, sadly. And she's been gay ever since. That was when it happened. <laughs> um, I rewatched them a lot. What? Uh, I was long spoiled on everything. Yeah, I did not. I literally knew nothing about Seven. I didn't know the the spoiler. I didn't know anything. Um. Yeah, so I fell in love with Jesse in my playthrough. I really fell in love with Jesse, and that was a really fun time. It was the first time I ever cried at a video game. Um. Okay. Well, we need to talk to whoever can tell me more about whatever happened to Hammer. I guess. <laughs> I really gave Tifa valid. Valid. And then he fell in love with Aerith. <laughs> yeah. I know, I literally cannot wait to find out what the remake does with Kate Sith and Sid, because I think Sid needs a pretty large rework, in my opinion. We need to change some key things. Um, like you can keep a similar storyline as long as we change it. So he is definitely shown in the light that it should be shown in. Uh, and Kate Seth, I'm just interested because I never bonded with Kate Seth and I never really liked Kate Seth. So I'm interested to see what they do there. But I also wasn't a big Yuffie fan and I can't wait to play the intermission because I think it's going to make me fall in love with Yuffie. I've not played nine yet, no. No. What about Vin? I do love Vincent. Vincent was, he became, I think he was one of my most picked people in my party. I still really want them to do a trailer for like wh wh whenever Vincent is gonna show up, I want the trailer, like remake part two trailer to just be the very end it like fades to black and you just see like pieces of wood or something in like a really dark dingy webbed area but it's like really close on the on on the pieces of wood and it kind of like slowly come the camera slowly comes up a little bit and then you just like see like an eye open or something and it's just red and that's all you see you just get that's it that's it and i just want people to go freaking insane Uh, it's interesting because Yuffie started off kind of rough in the original game, but she came to be beloved. Yeah, I, uh, I think I got some of Yuffie's backstory or just like a little bit of it. I don't remember, but Yuffie just didn't seem to have like much progression for me. And like the first time she stole the material and stuff was fine. I get, well, it was annoying, but it was fine. It was like right near the end when she steals it again or something and i was just like why like we have clearly shown like 
And I, oh, I just didn't, I just was like, you're, this is so stupid. Why would you do this? I never got over it. Um, I'm hoping they'll make me like sit in case it's, yeah, same. Same, same, same. But the description makes me throw it all. Vincent is a, a broody, uh, vampire. In my seven playthrough, I literally gave him a vampire voice. <laughs> um, he's great. Thank you, Katal. Have a good one. Do you know? No, I need to know what happened happened. Oh, wait, maybe now is time to go to the detention center. Maybe Will Powers knows. Fuck. Um, okay, that's fine. I want to see Elena so bad. I want to love Elena forever and cry over Elena. And yeah, I'm very excited for Elena. So excited. Oh my God. Um... Just all the Turks. I'm not going to lie. The I love, well, Reno <laughs> and Seng. I guess rude. But uh, yeah, Reno more thank you um Idris Elba is voicing the heart? If I were to start with one, I think Final Fantasy VII is very, um, is a very popular one to start with. Seven and 10, I think are the most popular starting Final Fantasies. Um, you could certainly start with the remake if you don't want the older graphics. Um, there are some things that you'll be a bit like, huh? Like I was, but I loved the game enough that I then went and played the original. Um, so I would say the seven remake is a very good one because that's what I started with. But seven or 10, I think are perfect. Um, Oh my god, I would love a Turk. Oh, imagine if they did a Turk episode. I think they've already said that only doing a Yuffie episode or something. Or someone said that to me. But I want them to do episodes for all of the side characters and the Turks. It would be so good. In my opinion. Can I convince you? I don't think I can. Yeah, exact. I agree, Orange. I was the exact same. Well, I waited like a month, but yeah. Mm. Nine is also a good starting point, but no voice acting. Yeah, a lot of people like Nine. The thing, okay, here's the thing. Whenever you ask what Final Fantasy people should start with, most people will say their favorites, I will say. Um... So take everything as biased. Um, I think even though seven is my favorite, I think 10 is very widely loved um, and has a good start, like starter characters and everything, I think. It really throws you into it. Um, but I love seven. Seven is very dear to my heart. Um, uh, 
13 kidneys. I love how we start saying kidney origin. <laughs> I love it so much. Final Fantasy 13 does not deserve the disrespect it has. I've not played the game, but uh. Do you think I'll ever continue 10 part two? Maybe, I don't know. I don't have any plans to anytime soon, but I keep hearing about the ending and I just want to experience that. I think you can rush through it. Uh, I enjoyed 13. 13 is so good. It doesn't deserve the hate it got. 13, awful. <laughs> Want a little clue? Yes, please. If you could just poke me in the right direction, don't like say it precisely. Just be like, hey, I would go check out. Da da da. Yeah. But I don't know where to go. <laughs> if Final Fantasy 13 is so bad, then why is Lightning so hot? True. Sure, you speak good words. Assistant. The one that, this one? I hope they don't take away from his shittiness. It's realistic, however, not a behavior that should be romanticized, showing that and maybe a more grounded development. Um, yeah, for me, basically, the way that the game presented it in my eyes in Seven was the main issue. Like, he can be abusive, I guess, if they want to stick with that. But the amount of people I've seen who defend Sid as, like, not being abusive and the, the, the woman was, like, at fault is that's what concerns me because i feel like the game doesn't tell you hard enough sid is a dick um so if they really want to keep that for whatever reason uh then they need to make sure that they show it in a bad light um anyway that's my thought uh, looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. Oops. I always right-click for some reason when I'm trying to search around. The glass is frosted. I can't see the outside. It's far into October. The dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. You're such a poet. Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell does Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? It's a samurai musical set in ancient Japan. A, a samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Oh, Mia's the real fan. I just picked up a little. Picked a little up, even. A samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster looks like it's been hanging here for years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should re maybe we should replace the um, poster in the office with this one. That would be kind of sad. She's literally dead, Phoenix. <laughs> An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Nothing in here that would be a clue. It's just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Uh, no clues here. This is where they held that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Well, cool. Okay. Um, can we trade? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I could like those actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set! Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh, uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. <laughs> please! <laughs> I beg you, please trade with me! Tr tr trade with you? Y yes, trade cards. Uh, look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card! Show me a, huh? Uh, yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can you see? She's, can you see she's desperate? What, what's everyone getting so excited about? Trade. Okay, really? So thanks. Then this is for you. Very valuable. Yahoo! 
<laughs> and there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Ah, we're good people. Uh, outside studio. <gasps> studio main gate. <gasps> Employee area. <gasps> Dressing room. Look what I got, kiddo. See this card? <gasps> yes, boy. That's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Oh, I've never seen him so eager. Oh, right, okay, how about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Mm hmm, you sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we have uh, him take the... We can have him take the stand. Oh. Hi, pirate. How's it going? Hi, Welter. Cool. So, you like the steel samurai? <laughs> He's so cool! Uh, I guess uh, you're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life! This is actually me talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't ya? Oh, uh, me? Yeah, yeah. I love the steel samurai. So, tell me what's your favorite thing about the steel samurai is? Thank you for the follow. I've got to think of something. I like it when he uh he he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, was The steel samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. Oh, he has a little scrapbook. Baby. Uh, that is, it's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. Uh, the newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady! I just got it for my birthday! My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Uh, really? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Path to Glory. Received! Lots of people always giving stuff to Mia. What a life. She's dead, Phoenix. What? <laughs> yeah, sugar mud as people. What about that tree and booty? Uh, you were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. <gasps> Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice. You have to help us fight for great justice too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Oh well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you see, kiddo? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got it that day, around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so that the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. And I finally got to the fifth studio. After that. What is it, Cody? <gasps> the steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear. Just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast. I got scared. I went home after that. Uh, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, right? Me? Yes? Uh, I think we can say for sure that means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. 
So, the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, hey! I heard everything. This boy is a key witness and he's under police protection. Starting nah. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! Hit him in the shins. Knock him out. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. DPS. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. What, what are we gonna do, Mia? Well, um, hey, go to hey. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yeah! Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great! Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Edgeworth? Is it time? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, defending my client? Is it time? I can't wait to defend my client in court, whereas someone else will be, incidentally. Defendant lobby number one. Uh, sigh, don't sigh at me. Don't sigh at me. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why oh, do you look so unhappy? Uh, 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 nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia. Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> Mia! This is no time for dead people jokes, please! You know we're going uh, into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Um, something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. I think the thing, what happened, that thing, we need to figure out that. That's the secret. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fa fact. Fuck. He's the boy. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. I love the plot when Mia's around. Yep, it's good plot. Will the witness state his name and profession? Oh. How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob ruffle. Sa Salmonella, I'm a director of television. We are at the global studios on the day of the murder. Yes, your honor. Uh, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Uh, right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I don't know. Thanks! That's very sweet. 
Um... Well, I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing a, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. You're pretty sure? You're pretty sure no one left the chairs? Or are you sure you're sure? Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammond's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Um... Hold it! <laughs> you didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one! Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix, if his alibi holds, Powers is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Right. Um. We'll press you on everything then. Um. And she possesses. Yeah, I. I. You know, I was like, Mia and Phoenix are cute, and they it sounded like they were setting something up, but then she did die. <laughs> so I don't, I just think Phoenix is a chaotic bisexual. Um, and I'm sure him and Mia were very happy when Mia was alive. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, for what it's worth, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. <laughs> well, you are toxic. <laughs> In the ploy area? Uh, that's right. It was a fight scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah. A security lady was sitting where they're watching the whole thing. LOL! Uh, she was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a long time, though. I thought I would. How long is it? Why did it go on so long? Uh, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through scene. Oh, right, that's the limp. Which of course led me to led to me missing my lunch. I don't know what that means. Are I just rolling on the floor? Starving? I hate it. I had that everyone else had lunch and no play area. What exactly did they have for lunch? Oh, T-bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It's a little vague. I don't remember if he's eaten. Oh, there were two plates in the studio too. Outside area. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manala. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want... When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Oh, 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 good call, good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? 
Yeah, well, I mean, the sister went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? Well, he took one break during that meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. You said that you didn't take any breaks, buddy. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a little bit more. <laughs> they were in the meeting around before. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left that chest. Liar. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, not a one. Uh, what's he sweating? What? I only had it. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press him. Wait a second. Mr. Manala, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oh, that was a rubble. Well... Um, Mr. Manella, what's this about all about? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Bad sign. Bad sign. Not good. You want his gross face to be in a mo? Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break. Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 base 12! Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, lol. Oh, uh, that's probably just enough time to do T Bone Steak, if you ask me. Hmm, I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross examination. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. It was only 15 minutes. 15. <laughs> I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. LOL. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. All oh, right, the other one was Divas, sorry. Divas, guess? How do we say again? Kez's plate? Uh, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Like that? Divas, guess? Uh, I forget what I said already. Um, okay. What time exactly did you take this break? Mm, I'd say it was around 2.30 or so. Wow, that's, that's very, yeah, okay. That's the time of the death. Oh, uh, so he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Uh-oh, boyfriend's mad. Oh, no. He looks kind of angry. Woo! I have to say... Oh, we've done this one. Oops. I... I... I think... I... 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 I don't know what to do. Objection! Objection! <laughs> Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. 
It does? I don't see anything. Yeah, fuck. Um... Ah, I thought it would show. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I thought I... <sighs> I thought I just presented that evidence and I was very worried. Sunshine, how's it going? Is that you can't get a little guapi? Press that one. Fudge. Oh. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trial had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Uh. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. <laughs> Do you claim someone went... But they couldn't have! dominance but I think it'll just mess us up because the thing is is that the monkey head well it potentially could have blocked it off so I guess it is possible oh wait no between so it isn't possible I don't think it is possible I don't want to write off so many possible subject subset so bleh, bleh, bleh. but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you at least had an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Miss Dashworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. <laughs> he's so serious, <laughs> but he says such silly things. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. There go. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Uh, it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. You should. You should correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Oh, what? Well, it's over. Well, can't we get a diva? No? Very well. The court opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there are several other people in the studio two of the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have got to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the steel samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Seconds to insertion. He's so serious, but he's saying such serious things. You did it. You broke Phoenix, right? Ace Attorney down to its bare essentials. <laughs> thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate it, Megan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very serious, very silly. Ah. All that is lacking is 
decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment. Are you bringing the child? Fuck! My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. No! Edgeworth! Order, I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. Grr! Can we go punch Edgeworth just in the break? What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Punch or smooch? Uh, punch him with our mouth. On his mouth. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could have not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Oh, oh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. <sighs> Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself, be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. Uh, you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Yay! I feel like we've lost, but it's fine. Uh, hilarious. I imagine none would. Because they, like, they're literally just like, oh wait, here is this new piece of evidence, what do you do? Hey, don't worry about where it came from and how I got it and the fact that I've told- yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Baby. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Uh, right, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. You feel like you're taking pictures here? Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! <laughs> I love that he can never, ever, ever get anyone to just say their goddamn name. Uh, what? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Uh, oh. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Ed Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean, Cody. <laughs> He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, <clears throat> you were at the Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Uh, please tell us what you saw that day. <sighs> what, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer a bearded gentleman myself. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. But, uh, my, my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it in. I'd like special permission if that's possible. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you had a to bargain terms with the kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. 
but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of that in the court record. Thanks, Mia. <laughs> Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. He totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pew! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Mm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. You know what? We're friends with this kid, so this can only go well. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Mm. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. We're friends, right, Cody? just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods on the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. Uh, I got kind of lost for about 30 minutes. Do you remember what time about that was? You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. The steel samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes. How can the bad guy? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy? A person? Kind of tall, skinny? Are you sure it was a guy? Uh, I don't know, he was kind of far away. Oh, he's being awfully vague. What? Mm. Of course, the steel samurai took him down! Pew! If I had my camera with him, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Did you get any other shots? If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying a camera then? No, no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time! Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Didn't you say that you had? Objection! Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? It's to write a word with you. Well, was I putting on too much pressure? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? <laughs> it's uh, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Oh. Edgeworth. Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Ooh. Uh, well, Cody. What? what? Yeah, so I have my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera, and you did use this camera. Well, why would I use it? Oh, I, I was too busy watching. Uh, very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Does it trap the souls of the people in the picture? Yeah, I have my camera with me. Uh, but I, I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then the bad guy stopped moving. 
Oh, he's so strong to steal samurai rules! He killed a man. Mm. Ah. Is that all? Well, that was brief. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I'm gonna come with me, but I was glued to the action. I can Still summary, he goes for the bad guy. Wow. Um. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? Uh, I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai! I see. And what happened next? Because the bad guy died in all his armor. Or his all his costume. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the seal samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? Well, how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch! And a samurai chop and a samurai slap! Something like that. He's still being vague about this. So there was no spear involved, is what you'll say. He was pushed onto the thing that broke? I'm saying it now. Um... What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? I think you need to press him a little harder, but be gentle. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection. I will end you. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he quite... What he saw quite clearly. Objection. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. Ugh. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of that steel samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow! Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Because he wasn't a bird! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, yeah, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why well, didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? I would love it if Cody screamed objection. That would be so funny. Look, it doesn't say that he's top ranking wise, just that he's a top. <laughs> um. I don't know. Um, I'm getting big bottom energy. They both switch. That's what I'm saying. Phoenix and Edgeworth, it depends who won or lost the case. That's all I'm saying. Um, You're right and you should say it. Winner to or winner gets whichever one they want. <laughs> this is um anyway.
and she was watching something else show evidence. I don't think that's evidence for why he couldn't watch it though. Or wouldn't watch it. I don't think he could watch it. I don't know. I feel like this is the first case I've actually found a bit more tricky. Save. We can save. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the steel samurai fight like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Ugh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? Yeah, okay, fine. I don't think I... I don't think I've got it right, but... Here's my proof. Proof? Uh, huh? Yeah. Ah! Uh He was watching something else. <laughs> lost, lost option. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol? The steel samurai fight. What do you claim he was looking at? Ugh. Okay, that means I have to have evidence. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Your Honor! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, okay? Then he- I have evidence then! Does it just mean the murder weapon? But that's not the answer! Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Hello, Thank you so much. How have you been today? How's Phoenix Wright Taste Attorney? I've seen the anime but not played the games. Also, eight months WTH. Really that long already, sweet lol. Thank you so much for the eight months for. I know time has flown. Uh, I'm enjoying it so freaking much. We're we're struggling on this. Well, we I am struggling on this case a little bit. But I'm having a very good time. How are you? Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to say the murder weapon because Cody is saying that he saw slaps and kicks. So that like definitely proves that he didn't see the murder. But that isn't why he looked away. You know? Oh wait, maybe the... No, I don't freaking know. Take that. Here's my proof. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I literally have no clue. Take that. I don't know. Is this foul? Take that. Is that it? That. Sleeping pills. <laughs> cool. the camera. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. 
He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. Is that it? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm wearing that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. Oh, what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. <sighs> Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that was <laughs> Thank you. True, it was smart of me. And not take a picture. Right, Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. Uh, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? <laughs> yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right, mere means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera? And why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Ugh. Welcome to the real world, kid. He's a child! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you were right, Pops. Still a samurai just being escaped from the clutches of Villain. So I held on my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Is that all that happened, kiddo? Hmm, anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Baby, it's okay. So wait, it, they escaped from the villain? So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Oh, well, well, I guess the still summer was moving a little strange. Oh, damn. Moving strangely? Take a picture. The lens went open. That's all that happened. Are you sure? That's all. Yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture! Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard! Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Yay! A bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This was great. You made a child cry. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Did you? You erased them? Yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved still samurai victorious? Well, you know... Well, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Honey bunny. Oh. I don't think I can present that yet. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I've got something. I've already got something. I've already got something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I need the... I thought I needed the bit where he says, why would I want a picture of that? Objection! Objection! Cody! What? Man, every time you see Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got every life performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Was I am? I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Hi, Marito. How's it going? Uh, Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. 
It's a collection of pictures of the steel samurai all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the steel samurai has won. Uh, I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the steel samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the steel samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly wouldn't expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Wait. No! Wait! No! No, wait! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is! M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album for the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N no way! No! It's impossible! The, the Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. Uh, the same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order, order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody. Is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Uh, my... Uh, baby... <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. So before I fall down, the funny didn't move. <laughs> I told you on the fence or some I don't know, the fence may still yet come into it. Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The steel samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's all this about? I'm scared! If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through this morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Old Bag said in her testimony? Hi, Ben says, how's it going? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the gas station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. 
He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Hi, girl. I'm loving it so much. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the steel samurai was moving strange. So I was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. <gasps> oh, yeah, here it is. Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. <laughs> I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? Uh, I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence we need to win this trial. But uh, what? Y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts. So we, yeah, true, Queen. You're right. Is it the two? Because the murder was meant to take place in Studio One. Is it the thing that I said it was? Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Uh, might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ugh. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but, that's impossible. Uh, uh, what's all this about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Uh, here, at Studio Two. I don't think, I think it is actually the thing I said it was with the broken fencing. Uh, that would explain the two and the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant the murder took place in Studio Two. I mean, surely like all of these actually come into it. So we've heard. Fuck. Oh no. In other words, the victim went to Studio Two before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmanella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yes, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of crime studio too. I'm loving it very much. I am very, I like this game a lot. Um, Starshine, maybe let's chill the spam a little, just, just a smidge, just a smidge. Uh, as you may recall, there is a trailer in studio two. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. Thank you! Monotone excitement, thank you so freaking much for the tier one sub. That is a very kind. We've had a whole bunch of brand new subs today. What the heck? Thank you. That's way, 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 way too kind. Enjoy the sub badge. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy it here. So it means, oh no, 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 you're good. Um, you were just being very nice and sweet. Don't even worry about it. Also, we have a Discord for anyone who's interested, but also there's emotes there if you would like them. Thank you. Uh, there was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Verquez 
were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Uh, order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person at the security guard, the person at the security guard, Miss Oldbag saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim, the victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting that he, are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, n no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. Don't ask me for proof. I mean, I swear this picture looks like the it's way too big for him. But we haven't, like, remarked upon that at all. Fuck it, let's go. Um, I have proof. <sighs> you do? You do, Mr. Wright. Uh, now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Wait, no, that can't be right. I've got to have some proof that will knock their socks off. I, it literally looks like his trousers are his socks. Yes, Your Honor. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Well, then I don't know if I do have it. Did he give the sleeping pills to? Oh! Hey, this is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. The sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Oh! We're getting there. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. All of them? What do you mean? <laughs> we should have done literally all of these things already before court. But, you know, who am I to judge? Um, just the blood, I guess. An idea, continue. Run a test on Powell's blood. You should find traces of the sleeping pills. I mean, isn't it several days old at this point? Yeah, sorry. I have to agree with Edgeworth here. Um, uh, this much time after the day of the murder? Even if there were traces, it still proves nothing. No blood test could tell Hammer was the one who drugged him, Mr. Wright. He's right. Don't. Okay, the other one. Fingerprints. <coughs> um, I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Uh, I suspect you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Here you go, Mr. Judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. <laughs> We've got another day! I guess we actually have to find who is... Well, I guess we don't have to find who's guilty. We're the defense. That's not my job. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai has been has seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Oh Hannah, this is Phoenix, right? <laughs> um Mr. Ra Don't be me! <laughs> No one said this was accurate. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Well, it wasn't, okay. So basically it's my guess. So there was the thing that happened, which I guess is what waned his popularity. So he wants to be the main character, not the villain. I think that old bag also told us something about that. He got pushed onto the fence. That's what killed him. They then wanted to frame the guy with the prop. Or something. Ah, uh, can you tell my voice is getting a little rusty after 
four hours of voice acting. Uh, also, who killed him and why? <coughs> uh, why does Phoenix uh, write as the church is? Because whenever he sees a crucifix, he stands there utterly transfixed, taking it every minute, uh, every minute detail. Yes, he is very keen on cross-examination. Oh my god. <laughs> Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Wolf Powers. As you say, Your Honor, this trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. I don't know why I clapped. Very well. Court is adjourned. These trials do seem to take a while. It's almost like we gotta make sure an innocent man doesn't go to jail. Hey. True. Um. If I suppose that. Unfortunately, I don't like hot drinks, but um, thank you for the well wishes. Can we collectively, as a chance, like rabble, 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 whenever the core audience. Please. I, I would love that. Um. Oof, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Oh, me too. Uh, really? You both seemed so, so confident. Uh, uh, maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Uh, dead? Dead? <laughs> of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make and our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Oh, right, thanks. <gasps> wow, what a time. What a time we've had today, everybody. Jeez. Oh no, it's gonna start, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna end stream here. Because uh, my voice is starting to crumble. Um, Thank you all so much for hanging out. This was such a good time. I, this game is so fun. I'm having such a good time with it. My God. Um, Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Uh, it, was a, it was a fun time. Uh, what a great time for me to come back to stream. Oh no. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you would like to. Um, Supreme voice acting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Put me in your video games. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, also you can follow me on all social media if you would so like to. Um, it's cool. I'm, I'm all right, I guess. Uh... <laughs> really selling you I hope um yeah 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 uh thank you all so much for hanging out we're gonna go raid someone who we so rarely get to raid we're gonna go raid MJ um oh yes also I'm doing a Mia cosplay if you want to see any sneak peeks and be the first people to see it uh fan house is where you can do that uh but that's it that's it for me um uh, I'm going to be back. So tomorrow I'm doing a DD and d type podcast, uh, podcast, Twitch stream uh, tomorrow. Um, and then Thursday I'm having a day off and then Friday I'm back. So I'll see you in a few days, basically. Um, love y'all. See you next time or in the Discord. I'm pretty active in the Discord if you want to chat. Um... Can't wait to see how you feel about the other. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. Well, bye friends. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesdays. Stay safe. Stay kind. Stay awesome. Bye.